Hey guys, how's it going? Ghosty Rich here today, and today I'm going to be upgrading my router. That's my stock one that came from uh, Telus there, and oh my gosh, does it suck! Um, it the distance it goes is not the best, and even if it does give you a small rate distance, the signal just constantly drops. I've tried everything with it, and I've read reviews, and people just say it sucks. So, I went out and bought the AC2400, the RTAC87R, and uh, got it for a wicked deal. Let's take a look what's inside the box. Now, the only thing I've done and really is cut the plastic and lifted it a little bit like this, so that way I can take it off for the video. On the inside, this thing is big. Like, my hands are huge, and this router is just, well, you know what? It's just about as big as that TELUS one. See if I can get the condom off. Oh yeah, using my knees. Put that garbage in here, but let's compare this. See, it's longer. I mean, the box, at first I was like, oh, the box is probably just that big. Holy smokes, that thing is huge. Look at all these antenna spots. Let's go and see what else is in this box. So, next thing is to, of course, pull out everything we need. Sorry about my text tone there. We've got an internet cable to go from here to here. Perfect. We've got a power adapter. Uh, another insert. Some instruction booklets. We will look that over in a second. We've then got four antennas. We need to screw into the back. Pretty easy. But, uh, Anyways, I'm going to do that to make sure I don't cross-thread anything without the camera in my hand. And we have warranty papers. Yay! Warranty. And then we have the Asus Wireless Support CD. So I'll probably install this first. And I'm going to just kind of go from there. I don't think there is any more things in here, but... No, I'm probably just destroying things now. Yay, destroy everything. Throw that off to the side. All right, guys, I'm gonna quickly go through this and uh, put the antennas on. All right, so as you can see, I put this antenna at 45, 45, 90, and 90. Next thing to look at, I've plugged the power in, but I've not plugged it into the wall yet. Why? So that way I can show you this. See that black wire? That is in our internet spot, the blue one. The blue one is going to go to this router into number one. I put it in port number one. Don't put it in the WAN port, put it in port number one. After you've done so, you've got this going now, uh, or this one going to here. This goes into your computer if it's at your computer, or just plug in whatever you want to be plugged in here. So let's say if you're plugging this in by your home theater setup, then you would plug in your home theater devices. Wired is always more consistent. If you have the option, always wire in your systems and anything else. If not, make sure you buy a good router. That's basically it. That's why I got this one. So from this point, I've got everything connected the way I want it. Now I'm going to go down there and I'm going to actually plug the router in. I like to do all my connections first. So as you can see, all blue, got a red light. As soon as we do that, let's try this, boom, there. Now it pops up. After you put in router.asus.com, um, it popped up with this, so I'm gonna press next, and I'm gonna start setting this up. It's saying that I have an IP configuration error. We're going to do this. It's just renewing it. If this fails, I'll show you what to do if you ever come into this issue. I might have to go into my other router and I'll basically disable its Wi Fi, do some port forwarding, and stuff like that. But first, let's see it do this. All right, so let's press go. It says it covers up to 5,000 square feet of footage. Well, I'll know that very, very quickly here. 
All right, I'm gonna, now it's gonna tell you to make a router login name and a password. So if you wanna make it stupid simple, you go admin admin. If you don't want it to be stupid simple, because you don't want kids getting into or something, make it to something that you can remember. Whatever you wanna do, give me one second, I'm gonna make mine. So I put it in, now it's testing everything. Now we're gonna set up our stuff. So here's your 2.4 and 2.5. You can either make them the same or separate. It is up to you. If I were you, I'd just probably leave it the same and say copy 2.4, unless you're trying to make it so the kids only go on 2.4, then if you wanna make sure only guests can borrow this slow network, put it there. And so that way your devices like your TV or whatever runs your Netflix or your major streaming only gets the five gigs then you can separate them so that way it isn't the same. You choose, I'm not going crazy like that, I'm just gonna make it under the same network. All right, so after you click on the uh, next button for that other one, it's going to uh, give you your password and your info, you'll press next, then you'll have to log in. And once you log in, boom, it's gonna tell you, let's do a firmware update. I would definitely recommend saying yes. So I'm gonna just let this do a firmware update, and then after that, we'll go from there. So at this point, it wants us to manually reboot our router. So I'm just gonna to go to the back, I guess, and power it off. And it looks like it's powered off. And then we'll power it back on. Just watch it kind of boot back up. And then I'll just wait to see if maybe this will either change if I refresh it or yeah, I'm going to give it just a second and then I'm just going to just refresh the page and it's probably going to make me re-log in. Let's see. Refresh. It looks like the router is still booting up. So we'll let the router continue to boot and we'll go from there. So after that, all you gotta do now is go, all I did is I put in the IP 192.168.2.1 for this one because of course as it said there was an IP config thing, so. All right, so from this point I'm gonna put in my username and password. Perfect, so as you can see, everything's done. I've got the, uh, it says here my 5G's up, my 2.4 my and my 5G is up, and um, we go to status here. Looks like everything's good. Uh, yeah, I mean, just looking at this, it all looks good to me. So at this point, what I wanna do, oh yeah, it's also got the built-in firewall. So you might as well enable firewall. Now the cool thing about this is um, with this, it's up to you. It's optional if you really wanna have firewall on your computer. For this one, the IP address, which it told me to go to, which is right on here. I'll just stick that up like this for a second. But yeah, it told me to go to 192.168.1.254, which is right here. You'll see one too. Once you go to that, it's going to tell you how to log in. With this one, I'm gonna quickly put in my login. This will be this. If it does not work, call your um, your service provider. Every modem usually has the admin name and password for the, the GUI. Some people call it a GUI, whatever you wanna call it. Uh, but put that username and password into here. If that doesn't work, like I said, call your network provider and they should be able to give it to you. So from this point, next thing I wanna do is after I've logged in, it's gonna, we have a few buttons we're gonna go and press. First is wireless setup. Reason why is we don't need this one, I'm gonna disable it. So apply, might as well just get rid of it. The reason why is it's less that that modem has to do, and then you don't accidentally log into your old one. So I know this is all good. And again, you can go and disable the WPS, all right guys, so we got it all set up. I turned off the firewall. I ended up turning the uh, Wi-Fi back on. 
on that router for a second because I want to go try something. So, I've got my laptop on YouTube right now. Now, the thing is, is I have wireless extenders on every level of this house because of how bad the signal was and it was still dropping because even the Wi-Fi extenders were having problems. Sorry, this is the second level of my house. But if we're really gonna test this, I want somewhere where I didn't get anything. Like I didn't even get a bar until I put a wireless extender in. And even then the wireless extender, it was almost too far for it. So, we'll go into my concrete garage. Literally solid concrete. Well, pretty much. You can see that whole wall is. And all we're gonna do is quickly put the laptop on top of the car. And I'll show you what the wireless extenders look like. See, I have them everywhere around here so I can do work in my shop and whatnot. So, let's go over here. We're gonna go click on here. Check this out. With the wireless extender. The wireless extender is like right there. It's still way, it's full bars down here. <laughs> so, we'll connect here. Now, it can say four bars, but how good is the connection really? 4K. Costa Rica. I'll just wait, and see if we can get this to even load up past the commercial. But you see how quick even the commercial came up. Boom, instantly. There's no wait time, there's no nothing. So, I hope this kind of shows you there was no buffering, there was no nothing. I mean, I don't know what else to, that's really network heavy. Let's actually, let's go and do a speed test, speedtest.net. Uh, I don't want to try the beta. Just load. Keep in mind this is a very old laptop. So don't blame a, a whole lot of what you see on uh, the website itself. Ping was 10, perfect. So I'm getting 12. I'm on a 50 megabyte program, but the fact that I'm even getting 14, 15 off the Wi-Fi down here without using extenders is pretty sweet. I mean, it says that it'll do 5,000 square feet. Um, I never really trust that just because, let's face it, it never really works out that way. But uh, there you go, that's my upload speed. Again, I'm on the 50 megabyte package, but um, down here, you know what? As long as it's loading and doing it seamlessly, I have no problem with these results. I just wanted something that was more better because I couldn't even come down here and flash my car stably. And last thing you want when you're trying to work with your car's ECU is something that's constantly so finicky that it keeps dropping. So again, I hope this video helped you out with setting up your router and this shows you that this router is pretty sweet. Um, if I notice anything bad about it, I'll post it on my YouTube channel. But other than that, thanks again for watching. Have a great day. Quick couple things I forgot to mention, which I did, but I didn't. This is an old laptop. Probably isn't even running wireless N on it. And um, that being said, no wireless N. Probably running on a G and um, not even on five gigahertz because I can't connect to the five hertz network with this. So that would be a heck of a lot faster if I was on the other network. Anyways, just a quick update.